Forming is the process of fashioning metal parts and objects through mechanical deformation. The workpiece is reshaped without adding or removing any material. Forming operates on the material science principle of plastic deformation, where the physical shape of a material is permanently deformed. Deep drawing is one of the most popular metal forming methods available to manufacturers. Drawing involves the use of metal dies to form blank sheets of metal into a desired shape. When the depth of the item created is comparable to its diameter, it's known as deep drawing. Drawing shapes a flat pre-cut metal blank by forcing it into a die cavity with a punch without excessive wrinkling, thinning or fracturing of the metal. Various complex forms may be produced by drawing. Drawn parts may vary in size from small parts up to aircraft and automotive parts large enough to require mechanical handling equipment. For properly draw formed parts, the force exerted by the punch must be great enough to draw the metal over the edge of the die opening and into the die. A blank holder is used to prevent wrinkling of the metal sheet. The major forces on the blank are shear, friction, compression and drawing stresses. Maximum forces are near the die edges, with failure occurring when the shear stress on the edges exceeds its maximum limit or when the cup walls become too thin. The formability limitations of conventional deep drawing are a barrier for some industrial users. To overcome this, different methods are used. These methods are hydromechanical deep drawing, hydroforming, aqua drawing, the Guerin process and the Marform process. Hydroforming is the most popular non-conventional method and is used for forming both sheet metals and tools. In hydroforming operating cycle, a blank is placed on the lower tooling. Then the press is closed. Fluid pressure is then applied into the tubular section or onto one side of the sheet metal blank. The magnitude of pressure is high enough to cause the blank material to deform plastically, taking the shape of the tooling. Through deep drawing and its variations, both simple and complex parts can be formed from sheets and tubes. From cylindrical and spherical shapes to intricate surfaces, deep drawing produces elements that can be utilized in different industries. For traditional deep drawing processes, round shapes are the easiest to draw. Squares, rectangles, and more complex geometries may create slight complications, but are still easily and efficiently created through the deep drawing process. Typically, as complexity of the geometry increases, the number of draw ratios and production costs will increase. Other details such as perforations and threads can be produced with more complex tool or additional processes, resulting in an increase in manufacturing cost. The following are advantages to deep drying. It can be used with multiple metals, both ferrous and non-ferrous. The process hardens the materials, making it ideal for producing strong but lightweight products. They can be used to create complicated axisymmetric components and components without seam lines. Feats often unable to be accomplished by other manufacturing techniques without secondary operations, if at all. The very little waste that is produced is easily used for other applications. Deep drying is especially beneficial when producing high volumes, since unit cost decreases considerably as unit count increases. The overall labor cost is very low, tooling being less than $1,000, equipment cost less than $10,000, and labor intensity being less than 0.1 hours per unit. Once the tooling and dies have been created, the process can continue with very little downtime or upkeep. The following are things to consider when deep drying. One of the most important things to consider is the draw ratio, that is, the relationship between the draw post and the blank piece of material. As a general rule, the drying punch should be about 60% of the blank size. An incorrect ratio can lead to the thinning of the material and eventual failure. Redrawing requires that all the material be present during the first draw, and to maintain a constant blank diameter for the subsequent drying steps. To prevent wrinkles in the material, the die entry radius should be approximately 6 to 8 inches of the material's thickness. Extreme draft angles should be avoided when possible, and if necessary, the punch radius should be as large as possible. The binder pressure, which dictates how a material blank is held in place, needs to be set for each material. For example, carbon steel has a binder pressure of 600 pounds per lineal inch, and stainless steel has pressures of about 1,800 pounds per lineal inch. For square draws, it is recommended that a deeper draw has a greater profile, or corner radius 
which rounds out the corners and reduces the compression at these spots. Though many materials have been labeled as draw quality materials, one must assess the material's tensile strength, yield strength, work hardening exponent, the plastic strain ratio, and elongation. As a rule of thumb, metal should have a minimum elongation of 40%, a minimum plastic strain ratio of 1.6, and a minimum work hardening ratio of 0.2. An incorrect die entry radius can produce fracturing and or wrinkling, making it vital to choose a correct die entry radius that has been polished in the direction of the material flow. Binder pressure is important as too low pressure prevents proper control of the material and allows for wrinkling, while pressure that is too high will prevent proper material flow. A correct draw ratio prevents materials from stretching, especially of concern for materials such as high strength steel, which have low stretchability. A lubricant such as one with chlorine additives should be chosen, as friction coefficient is reduced in conclusion, tape drawing is one of the most popular metal forming processes that is used to create elongated shapes using pressurized dyes. Tape drawing is a comparatively low cost method and can be used to form sheets into various shapes and sizes with implications in all industries ranging from consumer products to aerospace and defense.